Hey Libra, how are you doing? This reading is for Libra for the week of August the 12th to the 18th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Libra, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Just click the link and it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful balanced babes? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What's coming towards you? The Two of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What you are focused on is the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And your blocked and challenged position is the High Priestess, Major Arcana for Pisces. And your outcome is the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Okay, Libra, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Hermit. And the Hermit speaks of making a wise choice or decision for yourself. And you shining a light into dark spaces. This is also healing or isolation or withdrawing from a situation you might be doing something solo or singular or it's wise for you to withdraw your energy take some time and space to yourself like this is taking more than just two days off this is like taking a week off you could also be calling someone out and this person or you are seeing that you're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place in some kind of decision. And you have a ton of choices and options here available to you. But I would just watch because it is a Mercury retrograde. So communications could be off. Or there's some kind of secrecy or mystery or something being hidden from you. Or this is what you're hiding. Because Nine of Swords is your present time. Nine of Swords is sleepless nights, frustration, anxiety, worry. Things are up in the air. Emotions are running extremely high. One is the truth. One is an illusion. This could also be some kind of communication that is coming to you. It's necessary for you to hear it, but it might be extremely triggering and uncomfortable. That can also be you needing to communicate something get this off your chest it's hard for you to communicate but it's necessary nine of swords is also thinking and thinking and overthinking and stressing about a person place or a situation to the point where you're paralyzed in thought and can't take action so here in your focus is procrastination um, a blockage or a stalemate a stuck energy no contact and the Nine of Swords is doing a lot of thinking really up in your head or needing to get more rest. Hand these fears over to the universe. Fear doesn't exist. Fear is what we make up in our heads that holds us back from something we dream of, desire, and want. So here, it's like you have a bunch of choices and options. You're not limited. You're limitless. And it's like pick something, choose something, run with it. No need to drag your feet or procrastinate any longer. And, you know, this could be like a nightmare of a situation, feeling like you're walking on eggshells in a job situation. You could be dealing with a two-faced individual. It's somebody who tells you bits and pieces of a story but doesn't fully disclose the truth. <clears throat> the truth. Or you don't have enough information and it's time for you to dig up the dirt, inquire, be inquisitive, and start to ask a lot of questions. That can also be putting your feelers out there, putting your resume out there. If this has something to do with a living situation, it's very noisy of where you live or even a job. And that Nine of Swords is um, thinking worst case scenario, thinking of like worst case scenario, if I conversate and speak my truth, what is this person going to think of me? Who cares, right? Sometimes it's just what you need to say. And worst case scenario never happens. And the Seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. 
you're stressing about some kind of investment, but you're th thinking about some kind of investment so much that it's like stressing you out or causing you unnecessary worry. Seven of Pentacles is also be patient, reflection, and who should I invest in? What is worth my time investing in? Should I scrap this idea? Should I make some kind of new outlet for an income stream? This is like some kind of stressful investment. This could be a work investment, um, a partnership. Like what's coming with me for the long haul? And is this unnecessary worry actually making me sick? Two of Swords, stalemate, stuck energy, or you're making a tough call here. And again, one's the truth, one's an, an illusion. But here, it's like fantasizing, dreaming, and visualizing. Hold your vision, but don't procrastinate. Take action towards some kind of like outlet that brings you joy, happiness, fun. You could also be like feeling juggled in an investment. And it's like you're ignoring the situation. Wow, in the Five of Swords. That's passive-aggressive behavior. This is can be like Five of Swords and the Two of Swords together, which is the Seven of Swords. Which could be liar, cheater, stealer, thief. Somebody who thieves your time, your money, your energy. Or avoiding... Of wanting to see a person, a win at all cost person. This person could also be baiting or hooking you into some kind of investment that you already see as a nightmare. See through the illusion, see through the distortion. This is for you to stop ignoring bad behavior, cut your losses, and see how you're like, yeah, but I, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. It's like cut your loss lose a battle and at the end of the day you will win the war this could also be like betrayal backstabbing belittling somebody nice to your face and then gossips behind your back or it's um a win at all costs i don't care how i win i just want to be right and i want to be in power and control but it's actually keeping you more stuck this is like that perfectionism this has to go perfect Again, the hermit. So you have the hermit there and then the hermit. It's wise for you to withdraw or to, for you to look a little deeper at this situation. Let's see what this uh, Seven of Cups is. Mixed feelings, scattered thinking, or your emotions are all over the place but in your body. So you could be extremely reactive. Avoid from trying to control a situation. Or if somebody's trying to control an investment here, um, it's like not doing anything because your intuition is in your blocked and challenged position or there's secrecy or mystery, something hidden from you. And when I get a lot of sevens in the reading, sevens are to focus on you, Libra rather than trying to make everyone around you happy. So, replenishing your cup. But if you are putting out your feelers, putting out your resume, if this is some kind of work investment, or, you know, um, you're dealing with somebody who is, like, passive-aggressive, like, they, they um, withhold communication... To like get you to react. That's what they're doing. So here it's like that's why your emotions are revved up. But don't react because this is your trigger. This person knows your trigger. Are somebody's jealous or 90s or in a knot? This person says things, mean things, hurtful things. And the fool, wow. Aries, or Aries, Major Arcana. No risk, no reward. Taking a leap of faith. And Aries energy is the north node. That is where we're going. The south node is Libra energy. And 
like I said, this is like, oh no, there's no fighting at the workplace. No, no, I just love this situation. That's a lie, right? It's, it's telling you to cut your loss in some kind of investment and you're like stressing over it that there won't be something else, but no risk, no reward. I also feel like this illusion or fantasy or somebody did something extremely foolish. This can also be coming back around to you. Somebody who made you an option or made you in, um, like didn't choose you and invest in you. This person could be coming back around because we are in a Mercury retrograde. Just watch the mix-ups in communication because Mercury is in retrograde there. That can also be you picking something, choosing something, something that doesn't, that makes you or floats your boat here. Don't procrastinate on it and take a risk, take a leap of faith. Take some kind of new avenue. Do something spontaneously. Or like I said, um, somebody did something aloof or foolish. Yeah, and then you have the two pentacles. Two pentacles is my all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. But there can also be things up in the air or confusing in an investment. Write down the pros and cons. That's all you have to do. Stay calm in the times of uncertainty. And here it's like no risk, no reward. Um, the bold favors the brave. And you having little to no baggage, little to no worry. Starting a new journey is um, stressing you out. Or making you very emotionally reactive. Let's see what this high priestess is. Blocking your intuition. You're doing a lot of thinking. And it's your intuition. Fear is loud and in your face. And your intuition is soft and subtle. And also you've been ignoring your gut feelings. But the high priestess is also not saying anything. Not saying anything, right? See? You already have the you already know the truth here. Cause here it's like cut your losses. And I feel like somebody is going to freak out that you're taking some kind of new avenue here. Yeah, this person's going to try to grip or hold on to you. Or you could be gripping and holding on to a person, a situation, a living situation. If you hold or grip onto a situation so tightly, you can smother it and burn it out. Or you're just burnt out. I can also be dealing with somebody who is smug, self-centered, self-righteous, and feels entitled to your energy. This is also keeping your cards close to your chest. But if you suppress your feelings here, Libra, you are going to explode. Right here, you're going to explode the truth. That Ace of Swords is truth, victory, triumph, success, and cutting out any kind of deceptive behavior. But it's like you're ignoring some kind of deceptive behavior. This is freedom. This is you catching your lucky break or a break free or your aha moment. I see clearly. So there's things that are really up in the air. But it could be just your own internal dialogue where... Your emotions are extremely revved up or somebody around you and you could be keeping quiet or keeping this truth to yourself because you know this person is a pain in the butt to deal with. Let's see what this page of swords is. Like I said, this could be a hard conversation that you need to have. It's necessary for you to have and it's uncomfortable for this person to hear it. This can also be a conversation that somebody's coming to you. You've been ignoring the truth here or ignoring some kind of situation. Like somebody is stealing your energy rather than giving and needing to just say like, uh, this isn't working for me. That can also be you um, investigating so you found something out 
or somebody is like spying, keeping tabs on you. This person's feather or feathers are ruffled. Jealousy, envy. Yeah, somebody could be quite jealous or um, controlling around you. And if you ignore them, they freaking get really heated. And the strength card could be a Leo. And somebody with air in their chart could be dealing with another air sign. Death card, change, transition, and a transformation. Change is uncomfortable. Transitioning into a new you. Change is inevitable. And it could be a smooth change or transition. That's if you go with the flow. So here, this is the procrastination. A blocked energy of like wanting to control a situation or somebody is trying to block you from... Somebody doesn't want to lose out on an investment. Like um, somebody might feel very entitled to an investment that you've created. But here it's like a strong communication or a need for you to be brave, be strong and courageous to communicate something. Or for you to be bold, take action and handle some kind of paperwork or take some kind of new avenue that feels more loving or even uh, an internal strength. So an internal strength here. It's going to take all your strength and power possibly to get away from this situation. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have if you focus on gratitude you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance but i don't feel somebody i feel like somebody has been taking your energy for granted and it's like um they know what triggers you. And it's like you have to not react to it. Dream talk. Cancer and Scorpio both got this card. And look how many cards are in the deck. Plus I shuffled them off camera. Your subconscious continuously and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spiritual world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. And so again, you're ignoring your intuition. You have this gut feeling but this is a truth bomb that needs to be expressed. Or you've had some kind of dream and you're like, yeah, no, that's too, be good, to be, too good to be true. And then you're like procrastinating on it. But if you take a leap of faith, it could be like some kind of dream that you had um, about a job situation, a dream that you had about a person. Because it, it's fantasizing and dreaming. Or, you know, a need for you to see through the illusion, see through this person, but you're, you're still ignoring it. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So whether you're with this person or not with this person, we are all intertwined in, in, in connection. And seek is also um, the hermit. So some of you are healers. And this is some kind of like um, wisdom or guidance coming through. Yeah, because you had the hermit on both. Ground yourself. 
Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritable, and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Yeah, like when emotions are running really high, intellect is very low, so it's really hard for you to make a decision. But when you center yourself, heal from some kind of situation, that's when you can, you know, either email somebody or there's just something there. Yeah, it's like your emotions are... Your emotions and your thoughts are running the show, but because there is needing more action on your end here, Libra. Fatal, good fortune. Fortune favors the brave. Again, your ideas are not silly. Even if somebody is saying, oh, you can't do that, or you can't, it, your intuition has already. In your blocked and challenged position, you ignored your intuition about some kind of truth or a break free or breakthrough moment. Bread, period, prosperity, and abundance. So you're stressing about some kind of investment, but it says good fortune, good luck, and like period of prosperity and abundance. So like I said, that's like stressing about some kind of invest investment, thinking worst case scenario. Whale, great worry over nothing. Yeah. And we can do that to ourselves, right? Firecracker, excitement. There could be some kind of an exciting invitation. You might want to go. Bird perch, waiting for news package or a letter right here. Or you've already received it and now you just have to communicate this because you know that somebody is going to be like, oh, flip and flip out on you or something. That's what this feels like, Quail. Get back to the basics. Yeah. The Fool card is about having little to no worry and little to no baggage. Um, and to get back to the basic, anything complex must go. Complex situations, complex contracts, complex people. Um... The High Priestess is about sacred knowledge and wisdom that you carry. So here, this is really balanced energy, but it's in your blocked and challenged position. So a need to adopt better habits to get into this energy. Your aha moment or breakthrough, break free moment is in your blocked and challenged position. But again, the High Priestess is not doing anything, not doing anything. And right now, maybe you don't have to do anything. You just have to let things just calm down. Camel persevere and you will overcome problems. Scissors disappointment in some affair. Yeah, and I always get that saying. If I cut you out of my life, chances are you handed me the scissors and you have free will and choice to free yourself. Dog protection from a powerful friend. So lean on your buddies at this time or a, a powerful friend here. This person could be like, Libra, I see that you just need a day off or need to take a time out or to take a few days to yourself. Let's go do something simple. And that's that whole thing. Um, what's it? Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, that's what this feels like. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Libra, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. Take care, my friends. And no worries. Just be like everything is going to turn out. Everything is going to pan out. If I have to express something, then that's how it has to be. And, you know, people come into our life for a reason, season, and or a lifetime. Once we learn that valuable lesson, we get to advance with that knowledge and wisdom that we carry with us on our next leg of the race. So always be mindful of that. Okay, bye-bye.